You hear me now, Kirk? Hello, Kirk. Can you hear me? I'm going to plug it back in. I, it could be at your end. I think I'm probably getting it on the video, on the recording. Oops. Oh, crap. I dropped it. Maybe this was a bad idea. How's that, Kirk? Now you're gonna get a lot more wind noise, though, which is what I was trying to avoid. I'm gonna zip up my pocket so I don't lose anything. All right, well, we'll try it this way. Do you have sound now? This is not the way this was all supposed to go. Get more ambient sound this way, more wind, which is a salient feature of today's walk. So, if you can hear me, Kirk, now please let me know again. Not that I'm 
changing anything now. I my ditch and I'm sticking to it. Yeah, I know you're really getting drowned over there. Big problems. Here it's the blizzard. There we go. Looks like there's snow on the lens there. This is probably your system coming our way, I don't know. My external mic wasn't working for some reason. Don't know why. That's too bad because wind noise will be way worse on this. But that's the videos there. Like I said, although you may not have heard me, last time I walked in a snowstorm, it's been my most popular video yet, so. <laughs> live streamer. Nasty. I am wearing a scarf. Around my neck at least. I don't have anything on my face. Just face out of the wind here for a second. All right. Going up this way again so I can quit walking quickly into the wind. Oh, better. to do in really cold weather. I usually put a scarf over my mouth and nose. Oh yeah, I have a mask in my pocket. I suppose I could do that. I can't do it really though while well, my uh, hands are tied up. Yeah, it takes me back to mine too. Only I enjoyed them more when I was a kid. Snow, blizzards. Try to get up on the dike again. I don't know. I don't know if I can take it because it took so long to make it. That's MacArthur Park, of course. One of the songs in our show, Guilty Pleasures, coming up just in a couple of weeks now. A couple of weeks. I guess it's next week as you're probably learning the music. <laughs> Joking, Jane, if you hear that. She's the director. All right, let's see what happens if I turn into the wind again. It's really not bad at all in the sheltered spots. Just when you face directly into the wind, it's particularly unpleasant. We did. This all started with a wind warning. Gusts to 110 kilometers an hour in parts of the province. I don't know if we've had that here, but it's been very windy all day. I would not want to be out of town. Zero visibility in town in some places when I was driving over there. And traffic would be really slow. Roads are icy. So everything slows down and backs up. 
it takes two or three light changes to get through the intersection. It's starting to come on. There's Sabrina said. Sidewalk. The street. It's hard to say. The dike will be, well actually the dike was pretty slippery where it was before, but let's see what happens. I'll try to get on it. Pure ice along here. I do not want to take another tumble like I did after the first snowfall. Bravely flying up the mountain. Union flag there. My front is pretty plastered with snow. One of my face is cold. The rest of me is fine. <laughs> I will be soon. Or something. Sipping something. As soon as the wind's not blowing directly in my face, I'm quite comfortable. That's nice. Okay, here we are by the creek, on the dike. And it's blowing from my left, so it's not as bad as I'm going from the creek to it. Although I will have to turn into it if I go around the bend, so I may not do that. Just came up here for a moment. We won't walk back into the wind. If we turn this way and head home, it'll be behind me all the rest of the way. Pretty much. If I can do half an hour, I'll be happy.
no good. <laughs> it's no good is right. It's a blizzard. It's a genuine Saskatchewan blizzard. Presented for your approval here on the Walking in Regina zone. I deliberately put off walking until later in the day in the hopes I could walk in a blizzard and believe it or not. And as long as the snow and stuff doesn't, you know, ruin my equipment, before I fall down and kill myself. All will be good. Light's coming on as it gets darker. Leopold Crescent toward College Avenue now. The wind will be behind me when I turn the corner, so I'm good from here. Again, I don't know why my external mic wasn't working properly. The gimbal is getting a little wobbly, it looks like. Not doing a great job of uh, keeping things level. Of course, the balance of it changed when I took the external mic off, so that might be part of that. Maybe if I slide it a little bit that way, it'll help. Christmas lights starting to show up. Okay. College Avenue. Now with the wind behind us. Street lights are coming on too. Turn toward home here. How's those lenses doing there? Ooh. Slippery, but not as bad as it made it sound, but a little worrisome. Let's go down the alley. Well, uh, one thing I've noticed about this is that it looks worse to my eyes than it does to the camera. Camera, oh! Gee, maybe the alley wasn't a good idea. I thought it'd be rougher and therefore less slippery. Um, it's like somehow the camera seems to penetrate further than my eyes do. My eyes seem to register more of the snow falling. Maybe because they're more sensitive, I don't know. Of course, it's hard to tell to me because the camera screen is quite small. And of course, your eyes are on seeing everything much bigger, so. And here, and here it's sheltered keep my feet shuffling. I can't really risk picking them up. Trouble is it rained yesterday. Overnight all the snow melted pretty much. A lot of it did. Okay, I'm gonna turn left here and go back to the Crescent. I don't know if I'll make half an hour. Pretty close. See to my eye, it's actually harder to see than it is to the camera, which uh, one thing I think it puts more contrast into the scene than my eyes are seeing.
there. That's out of focus. There we go. Just down to my intersection and we'll be done at about half hour mark. I'm covered with snow. My coat is covered with snow. I'm sure my hat's covered with snow. My face was wet with snow when I was walking into the wind. And uh, the gimbal and everything is covered with snow, so... I want to try to brush that off before I take it into melt. And the camera's covered in snow. But I am assured that iPhones are actually waterproof for something like 20 minutes to a depth of, I remember, 10 feet, something. So they should be fine with a little snow on them. Tell the the lenses are a little fogged up. Well, I made it home without falling. I didn't freeze to death. It was cold walking into the wind on my face, but otherwise I'm perfectly comfortable temperature-wise. So, not so bad. And hopefully an interesting video for those not from around here. All right, well, maybe just uh, go over here and look at the school grounds just to get more of the you really can't see very far effect. That's looking toward downtown. You'll have to trust me. There's actually a big apartment building directly ahead there. You might barely make out the shape of it. Of course, uh, looking up in the lights is always a good place to see the snow falling. Somebody the other way. Yeah, and they're actually 
are clearer to the camera than they are to my eyes. But we're going down this alley here. Back to the Crescent and then that will do it. A half hour blizzard. Half hour blizzard walk. The blizzard's much longer than a half hour. It's supposed to let up early morning hours, I think. It's turning colder, so the snow's not going anywhere. I think it's here for the long run. Could melt. Could melt in December. Could have a warm spell. You never know. The way to bet would be winter has come. Uh, we'll stop right here. So, thanks for walking with me. I'm sorry my good sound wasn't working. Oh, good grief. My pockets are full of snow when I put my glove in there. Oh, there goes somebody. Bye. I'll be back in some fashion tomorrow. Bye for now.